also mindful father that many faithful ones have fallen by the wayside but that we are still here O oh Lord it is because of your grace we don't want to take this grace for granted, O Lord. Help us to be mindful of our calling and election every moment. Hear are your children, the youths. You know how each one has come before your presence this afternoon. The worries, the cares, the burdens which they have brought before you. It's only you, Father, who know everything. Therefore, touch each and every heart accordingly. You are also aware of those who have come with searching questions. Where shall they find the answers, O Lord? It is only here at thy altar. Therefore reveal unto us now the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Heavenly Father, permit now the good wishes of those whom you have given for leadership to cover us. And help us all to strive towards the goal. Surround us with the hosts of the heavenly angels. That there may be peace in our hearts in the congregation and outside. Giving glory and honor to your name. Come and grant us now beyond the measure of petition with our words. And hear us, loving Father. We humbly ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, dear brothers, dear sisters, on this special youth service, the beginning of this year, 2013, I had to welcome all of you to the altar of grace. And hereby convey unto you greetings of love from our dear district apostle and his helpers. And in these greetings lie the peace of the Prince of Peace, who is our Lord and Savior Jesus. May this peace Abide with you. Tendere uyu unkarendi inu. Our text word, therefore, for this youth service Mau atu ama ayasopano. is from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 3. Acho kilambukia Samuel samba uh, Samuel oyamba samba la chitatu. Reading verse 10. Uberenga pandime la 10. Now the Lord came and stood and called us at other times. Sopano ambuye anabuela aimirila aita na munga ntauzina. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered. Samuel anayanka. Speak. Kambani. For your servant hears. Wanchito wanu akumva. Please be seated. Chonde nkalani.
Thank you, choir. Shamikila Oyimba. Beloved in the Lord, dear brothers, dear sisters, dear friends, and dear guests, if any, this afternoon, dear youths in the house of the Lord. O Kondedwa, Abalen Dialongo, Abwenzi, Dialendo, O Tandala, O Kondedwa, Amakono, Masana Aba. I had to welcome all of you to the altar of grace this afternoon. Onse Nikulandilani, Gualachi Somo, Masana Aya. That our first youth service in the year 2023. Mapempelo Atu Oyamba Sopano, Achakacha 2023. May bring us much manifold blessings. Atiletere Madariso Ambirimbiri. We have come and we have sung the hymn together as a congregation. Tabuela, taimba nyimbo pamozi monga mpingo. The Father's house is our delight. Nyumba ya tate, ndia mwamene tikondwelela. Beloved in the Lord, dear brothers, dear sisters. O konde duanga, abare ndia We cannot overemphasize the importance of being delighted, or being happy, or feeling at home in your Father's house. Stinga nene kapena kulimbikisa zo kondwela pamene uli mnyumba ya tate wako. Everyone should feel at home in their father's house. If you are not free in your father's house, then Ga whose house are you going to be free? The later apostle Ananyatele told us a story. The late apostle Ananyatele told us a story about this young boy in his father's house. Whenever he wants to sit on the sofa, he's told, don't sit there. He wants to get water from the fridge. You are finishing water. He wants to eat this. Ah, 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 you are finishing. Then he said, no, this is not fair. So he called, he said, he told his, his mother, this evening when daddy comes from work there's a meeting so the mother was surprised a meeting who is the chairman says I am the chairman just tell daddy when he comes meeting so when the father came the wife was Faithful enough. And told the husband. Boss, there's a meeting. What meeting? No, we don't know. Our, our son is the chairman of that meeting. So they were very anxious. They wanted to hear what the message was all about. So when they sat down. Yes, you called us. What is the purpose of the meeting? He says, yeah, I wanted to remind the two of you. Because it's like you don't know my position in this house. You, mommy, this is not your father's house. Neither is it your mother's house. You are just here because you are married to daddy. You also daddy. This is not your father's house. Neither is it your mother's house. I am the only one here who is in my father's house and mother's house. But the two of you, you are making my life a living hell then. What's your problem? Go back to your mother's and father's and, father and leave me free in my father's house. Beloved in the Lord, brothers and sisters, both the father and the mother never answered anything. Because it is true. That is his father's house and his mother's house. Where he is supposed to find 
joy. But there was no joy at all. Beloved in the Lord. So what are we saying? This is our father's house. And therefore, we must find joy here. If we don't find joy here, then where shall we find it? That's why we have sung very well. The Father's house is our delight. Where we find joy anew. And the psalmist said it as well. I was glad when they said unto me today, let us go in the house of the Lord. And then the choir have said, because we have come in the house of the Lord, which is our father's house. So what should happen here? We give glory and honor to God in the highest. That was the message of the angels when they told the shepherds announcing the birth of Jesus. And they came and sang honor to God in the highest. So when we come and give honor and glory to God in the highest, what happens to us who are giving that glory and honor? There's something that we receive in return too. And that the choir has also said. Peace and goodwill will be amongst you. Will be upon you. You. Because you have given glory and honor to the name of God. Beloved in the Lord, dear brothers and sisters, the motto this year in, of our church is saving and reigning with Christ. Therefore, our first youth service talks about something. Being called or the call of God. You cannot serve and reign with God if you cannot heed or hear his calling. So this comes from the story of the young Samuel. Samuel was the only child of this woman called Hannah. Samuel anali chabe mwana eka wa muzima yuoche dwa Hannah. And this woman was married and they were in polygamy kind of marriage. Uyu mkazi anali okwatili wa mumpali. And the other woman had children herself she had none. Uyu mkazi wina anali ndi ana koma Hannah anali ibe. And we know how it is like in all traditions and customs if you don't have a child the one to be blamed is the woman. They don't blame men. Uh -uh. The blame is with the, the woman. And we don't want to be medical here and talk about those issues. That it is, is it true that it's always the woman who is at fault? Who is at fault? The answer is no. But by tradition, the woman is at fault. And so Hannah lived a very miserable life in that home or in that marriage. So one day she went into the temple and she was there quietly praying and crying when the priest Eli found her. And found out what is your problem, Mama. Says my prayer is if God can only give me a child, a son. To remove the shame that I have. I will dedicate this son to God. And that is how Anna conceived. And she had a child. 
called Samuel. Samuel. So, as she promised, she committed Samuel to the hands of Eli, the priest. And so Eli brought him up in the ways of the Lord. Now the boy Samuel ministered to the, to the Lord before Eli. And then one day the Lord, I think the boy had grown a little more. So the Lord wanted to, to tell him what he wanted to do with him. And therefore he called him Samuel, Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. And he says Samuel had not known the word of God before. But bef and the word of the Lord was rare in those days. There was no widespread revelation. So when the Lord called Samuel, Samuel, the only person Samuel knew to call him was Eli. The priest. So he went there. You were calling me? Here I am. And he said, no, no, I didn't call you, go and sleep. And it was in the night anyway. Again, as I was trying to sleep, the voice again called. Samuel, Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. He went again to Eli. He said, no, no, I did not call you, go and sleep. The same time he was called. Then he went to Eli. Then Eli reopened, his eyes opened. And then he, he realized it's the Lord who wants to talk to Samuel. And therefore he told Samuel, if you hear that voice again, then say, Unene. and it shall come to pass if he calls you, that you must say speak Lord for your servant here so Samuel went and lay down in his place and the stain that is our, our text word now the Lord came and stood and called us at the other times Samuel Samuel. Samuel, Samuel. And Samuel answered, Speak for your servant here. Samuel Anayanka. Kambani. Then the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I will do something in Israel. So now he told Samuel what he want, God wanted to do. Beloved in the Lord, dear brothers, dear sisters. So Samuel was given a task to serve the Lord. In the capacity as a prophet. Because they were in the transition period they had not settled themselves down in Canaan, the Israelites. And so, it was a game changer in the whole plan of salvation. To the people of Israel. So, with his commission as the prophet, he is the one who anointed Saul as king. And later, even David was anointed by him as king of Israel. So what is our message then from this text? Let us hear the call of God. And follow him. Then we shall be able to save and reign with him. Beloved in the Lord, dear brothers and sisters, all of us, we have been called in one way or the other by the Lord to serve him. Either through our parents who raised us up 
in faith. All those who have been testified by our friends or the ministers. And then we stood before the altar where the Lord gave us an instruction of what to do. What therefore is our response to the call by the Lord? The Lord has called each one of you and each one of us. And normally the Lord calls the youths, the young people to save him. Samuel was young when he was called. Samuel Jeremiah was young when he was called. David was young when he was called. You and me have also been called in our youths to come before the Lord. To do what? To come and save him. So beloved in the Lord, dear brothers and sisters, therefore what is our response to the call of the Lord? Samuel answered, Samuel Here I am Lord. Speak. Come for your servant hears. And what did we say when we stood before the altar? Okay, Sam, you say I was young, but my mother said something which I don't know. But what about during your confirmation? What did you do? What did you say? You reiterated that which your parents had said. And we stood before the altar as the youths and we said, I renounce Satan and all his work and ways and surrender myself to you. Oh, try on God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit in obedience and whatever you. We promise to do everything to save the Lord. Beloved in the Lord, brothers and sisters. So, when the Lord called us, what does he want us to do? What is our response? Here, I am Lord. Speak. Come but they're not just what, when he has spoken, what do we do? We respond and do that which he wants. He wants us to serve. So how do we serve? One, by proclaiming his will, by following his commandment. So we stand up as those that are ready to proclaim the will of God. Samuel proclaimed the will of God. Samuel And you know Samuel was given a very difficult task. Samuel Because as far as God was concerned, Eli had fallen short of his glory. And therefore Samuel will be given a task above that of Eli. And you know, later on, Eli came to ask him, okay, what did God tell you? And then Samuel did not, did not reveal everything. So the Lord wants us to reciprocate his call by proclaiming his will to mankind. That we can proclaim to our contemporaries about the will and the commandments of God. Secondly, how do we respond? By testifying of the things God has done for us. A lot of the Lord has done great things unto us. All of us who have got testimonies of that which the Lord has done for 
We have our experiences of faith. If you have no experience of faith, test your faith. You look around, you are 30 years, 25 years, and when you look behind you, you cannot see what the Lord has done for you. Check your faith. It means there's a problem. So you testify of that which the Lord has done for you. Beloved in the Lord, brothers and sisters. What else does he want us to do? That we can be able to talk about Jesus and his return. Beloved in the Lord, brothers and sisters. And the task that Jesus has given to the apostles in the preparation of the bride of Christ. Because we are very convinced Article number 9 of our faith I believe that the Lord Jesus will return As surely as he ascended into heaven That is a statement of truth it is not a fake statement at all and that is what we are supposed to tell our contemporaries as well that indeed the Lord will come and fetch the bride home but before he comes he has sent the apostles to prepare the bride before you marry of course the bride will be prepared by the matron and the matron would want to make the bride on that day the most beautiful girl around. Of course, she will not be alone. She will hire other people to help her in the decoration and preparation of the bride. Someone will deal with the hair. Someone with the eyelashes or something and so on. Someone some will just deal with the lipstick. What kind, how should it look like? Someone will deal with the nails. Someone with how the dress should look like. Another one will look at the, the bouquet, whatever you call it. The bouquet. <laughs> Someone so everyone will have a, a role to play. And that is what the Lord has done. He has given the apostles and the matrons in the preparation of the bridal congregation. But the apostles are not doing this work alone. They are also using the others. The, the other ministers that support them to ensure that the bride is well adorned for that day. So we have to proclaim about that. That is in response to the call from God. How else do we respond to his call? We show love and compassion to our neighbor. Beloved in the Lord. When the Lord comes, our acceptance or non-acceptance, taking us to himself or rejecting us, will depend on how we have treated our neighbor. Beloved in the Lord. And that is crucial. How do we deal with with our neighbor. How compassionate have we been to our neighbor? Have we helped our neighbor to discover that God loves them too? That they can also experience the love of God. All we have helped our neighbor to look down upon themselves that God doesn't love them. 
kuti azuone kuti mulungu saba konda beloved in the lord so when we help our neighbor show him love show them compassion then we are responding to the call of god Pamene tandizila munansi watu kumuonesa chikondi kumutandizila nje kutianka kuita na kwa Mulungu because God is love Chifu kwa Mulungu ni chikondi like we heard this morning Munga tamvela kuseni for God loved the world kwa Mulungu anakonda ziko that he sent his only begotten son anatuma mwana wake obadwa eka that whoever believes in him kuti aliyense okulipira mwa e shall not perish sanza onongeka but have everlasting life kwa mazankala ndi moyo osata that is our the mission of Jesus and that is the mission that we have been given what is our mission statement as a church reaching out to all to do what to them to teach them about the gospel of Jesus and what is the message in the gospel of Jesus is the message of love beloved in the lord of us and sister how else do we respond to this call we actively respond to the peace in the congregation that we actively contribute to the peace in the congregation we actively contribute to the unity in the congregation beloved in the lord of us and sisters we don't become the ones who bring confusion in the congregation and it is unity in the congregation because god where god is three things are very important love peace and joy these are the hallmark of the presence of God. And so we have been called beloved in the Lord to proclaim and testify of that which the Lord has done for us. And we respond as such. We respond as such. Beloved in the Lord of us and sisters. But then the question is how do I hear the word of God, the call of God? How do I know that the Lord has called me? Of course, Samuel was called directly with his voice, Samuel, Samuel. The Lord has stopped talking to the people directly. Especially after the coming of Jesus, God spoke through Jesus. And after Jesus, the Lord spoke, speaks to us through his messengers, the apostles and those that help. And so the Lord speaks to us or calls us. We hear his call in each and every divine service. In the Lord and in every divine service, we are reminded of the core values that God wants from us. About our faith, about our hope, and about our love for God. And so he touches our hearts in a particular manner in each and every divine service. And that becomes the call of God. And when we hear that call and we submit ourselves to it, we are submitting ourselves to the call of God. How else does he call us? Through the activity of the Holy Spirit who touches our conscious Beloved in the Lord, dear brothers and sisters. 
your conscience sometimes will tell you of what is wrong and what is right and what you should do how to overcome the Lord will tell you and the conscious will tell you let's take for example you are standing with your friend and somehow he drops some money from his pocket so what do you do you have not had food at home for three days and you have no money and your friend drops money 500 kwacha yagwa 500 nayo so what do you do you know the first reaction that will come is to press your foot on the money first, first. but then there will be two voices that will be, you will be struggling with within yourself the first voice will tell you this is how God gives he has answered the your prayer. Take it. Go and buy mili milu. Buy salad. And relish for your children to go and eat. God has given you. But another voice will tell you and it will be a bit softer. God doesn't give you like that. Look at your friend. Even him has no money. That money actually is a Congola. Now food for his children. Now if you take it, what will happen to him? So you'll be stuck with your two thoughts. Whilst your quendo is still holding on the money. So which, which voice are you going to listen to? The one from God or the one from the other side? Eventually, if you really allow yourself to be used by the Lord, you pick that and say, oh, my friend, you dropped your man. But if you are not ready to follow what the Lord wants. You will get and put in your pocket, this is how God gives you. Now your friend will be crying. I have lost my money. You know, if someone is going crying, you are going happy. Are you sure that's how God gives? The Lord doesn't give you like that. So, beloved in the Lord, the Lord deals with our conscience as well and helps us to understand when he calls us and when he is not calling us. in the Lord Therefore, it is very important to recognize the voice of God. When you are not sure, like the way Samuel was not sure, what do you do? Ask your leaders. Ask those that are before you you want to get married and you are attracted by some, just something has attracted you to that person and you are not sure whether it's the correct thing or not but you see a small voice will tell you that person you want is not the right one for you. But the other one will tell you. That's the voice will tell you. So, what do you do? 
How do you know which voice to follow? Ask your leaders. Like Samuel went to ask Eli. And the leader full of the Holy Spirit will tell you the truth. The way I look at things. Ah, I think that one, eh? mm -mm. that's not the word the Lord has given you. Please just wait a bit. Be patient. But the others will go and say, oh, but you are So can tell me what you say? Because you are a man. Why? Oh, Allah. But you are a man. You are a man. You And then when things happen in that marriage, then again they will start crying. No, I wish I had listened. Beloved in the Lord. So let us learn to listen and recognize the voice of God. Let us know who can help us to recognize the voice of God. Because God will help us to understand his word. And to heed to his call. That here now the Lord is speaking. And here it's a human being speaking. So beloved in the Lord, your brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus said, descend the spirits and know which one is from God and which one is not from God. Test all the spirits and descend them. Beloved in the Lord, and we sing in one of the hymns, make no plans without the Lord. So in the year 2023, 2023, many of you as the young people, you have made certain resolutions. But before you act on those resolutions, seek the will of God. What does God say about this? Is it his will or not? Beloved in the Lord. Otherwise, because that is not the will of God. Beloved in the Lord. Of course, the voice that leads us away from the will of God is so loud and so persuasive. Very persuasive. But at the end, so let us know and recognize the call of God. So that even when we pray, we should not give God conditions but we say your will be done and if we want the will of the Lord to be done in our lives we shall never be disappointed because anything that happens then we know it is the Lord who has authorized it who has allowed it and then we say so let it be so beloved in the Lord but when we force matters what will happen at the end is a disappointment. So let us listen and recognize the voice of God. So what have we heard this afternoon? We have heard that it is up to us to recognize the call of God and respond in faith. It's up to us to recognize this is the voice of God or not. Because the Lord has given us his spirit. And when he speaks to us in spirit, then you know this is God. Secondly, we have heard that we respond by following 
Jesus and saving him. That's how we respond to the call of God. Thirdly, we have also heard how does God call us? How do we know that God is calling us? Through the divine services and through our conscience. If we had no, we had conflict in our hearts and we didn't know which way to go. Then we pray to God, please, in the service today, tell me what you want me to do. And then you find everything that will come from the altar is like answering to you your questions. Then sometimes you say, but who told the apostle? Someone must have told him that I'm going through this. No one told him. But it is the spirit that is answering to your questions. The Lord has responded. But then it's up to you to accept or to reject. The answer has been given. But it is up to you to take it or leave it. That's what we have learned. And finally, we have also heard the fact that God calls us silently, quietly. And he assigns us tasks. It is an expression of his love and his appreciation of us. Sometimes you are called to be ordained as a deacon. So, uh, whatever. The Lord has called you because he appreciates you. He loves you. He wants you to save him. But you, you are busy running away. Why are you running? Beloved in the Lord. So let us therefore understand and recognize when the Lord calls us. And let us respond positively to the call by God. He calls us in different ways. And let us respond positively to his call. Let that, let that be our hallmark this year. As we begin the year, that want to pay attention to the call of God. And we don't want to disappoint him when he calls us. Because we are ready to save him. And at the end, we shall reign with him. Amen. Amen. Today in this uh, youth service, let us see if we can do it another way. Or try to use as much as possible the young people also. Let us hear from them. Because we have heard a lot from the old ones. So, even our soul, let us hear also from our soul. So if the choir will sing Breathe on me the young people's choir So we'll start with ADR Kaluma
My dear beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, dear youths in the house of God, what a rich sermon that we have received from the heart of our dear apostle into our hearts. Uh, the sermon for today uh, truly fits us as uh, youths. He's talking about the young Samuel. How he was born. How he was uh, weaned by the mother Hannah. Here we can pause a little while. I know for sure to say some of you were wind off at six months. Some at one year. Some at two years at least. But there are those even shupa. They went maybe up to five years. Beloved <laughs> in the Lord. So we are taught to say Samuel was handed over to the priest Eli. At a very tender age. To be nurtured, mentored, and groomed. But here is one lesson we learn from Samuel. He spent all his life in the temple, but was not able to recognize the call of God. The same is applicable to us today. Most of you are born members in the New Apostolic Church. Few of you were adopted. But that doesn't give you or qualify you to hear the call of God. Dwelling in the house of God, beloved in the Lord, doesn't give you the passport to say you'll be able to recognize the call of God. The second lesson that we are learning is that uh, young Samuel tuned his Bluetooth. His Bluetooth, when I talk about Bluetooth, is faith. To his mentor, beloved. He started hearing voices calling him. His name. He knew where to run to. to seek for guidance. When you hear voices, I'm sure you hear those voices. Where do you run to for consultation? Beloved in the Lord. The last lesson is Samuel trusted and obeyed his leader without questioning. He was told, was told what to do. The next time he hears his name being called. How many of you can trust your leader. How many of you can obey your leader without questioning? Let the apostle continue mentoring us. Amen. Amen. That was uh, Kola. Let us get to Kanyama. Priest Mpofu will also come and save. Kola will sing Almighty God. Akola Zaimba Mulungwam Pamzonse.
Thank you, choir from Kola. Zikomo oimba, choir ku Kola. Beloved in the Lord, dear brothers and sisters, fellow youths in the house of God. Today, we are being saved by our dear apostle. And when he said, we listen to young ones, I thought maybe I will not be part of them, because we are growing up now. But the message today is a very clear one for all of us. That this is a boy who was called from the house of God. And the apostle said that first he could not recognize that it was God calling him. And then he had the faith in his mentor as we have heard. That he was able to run to his mentor and ask for guidance. And he was guided in a right manner. Without questioning, beloved in the Lord. Then he says, when we hear this calling from God, how would do we respond? Because he has called us differently. Then he says, the years, when you count the number of years that you, you, have, you have lived on earth, and you have nothing to tell of what God has done to you, then he says, check your faith. Because others are able to sing songs of what God has done to them. So if you can't see nothing, you can't see anything, then go back and ask your mentor that how shall I approach God for me to see what he has done in my life. Then once you realize that God is there and he has done something in your life, then you shall sing songs like others are singing songs. Because it is only God that has done what he has done to you. Sometimes we get wrong advice. That even when something has happened, because God has done it to you, you'll be taught something else. Meaning you're not recognizing the call of God. Let us open our hearts, beloved, in the Lord. That the mentor can mentor us today. Even the more so that we wait for his coming. Amen. Amen. So we can come to Soweto as well. And therefore, if the Kanyama choir will sing, Imweliwe. Then priest Mwape. From Star Cottage. Will also come and serve. Mwebate
intum tumki shalandat ilelo le satale twitter yo pantuna tupela ababa ri kunta nshi yesu ababa ri ngaba batumiki shi umopakati ya omutumiki shi obatemuka kumfumba mne na bankashi panshita ilia yesu kristu ni shitala isa yo but panshita into tulipo twalikuwa teshuko yesu kristu ali isa kabile atupela no mpashu wa mushilo uyo untu letu tungulula chile proof gele shi batemuka kumfumba panshita into tulenda panshita yonse Tureenda na Yesu Kristo huyu. Tureenda na mpa shuntu twa batshiwa kufuma kubo kwa mtu mikishi. E mulandu ine linzi tureenda tufure twa ipusha. Na finti tureshita. Pantule sarika tumkati ya mtu mayesu. Kola wa sometimes into wa kumbo e chintu. Liali ntule fo ku ibate muka kumfumu. Kale kale tututonkanya no kuishiba tule saruka ya mtu mayesu. Nti wala wa bakutuka ko. Yesu Kristo Dintu wa mtanike. Atikuwa lutu pondo tuvidi, tuntu wa mtanike na tuena. Kambi kari kukulia. Kambi na kena kari kukuso. Mwabate mkwa kumfu mwamune wangkaja, tukada kari kukulio. Kaeva Yesu Kristu. Na tuumfwa. Ni wewe Yesu Kristu. Kaidi wali kuwa tamaka. Nishite chui pusushe. Panuma. Olo pusushe na ifwe. Ngatu watu tonka, wabate mkwa kumfu mwamune. Kari ya kapondo takalu fie nye yo. <laughs> na inewu inenga na wumfisha mashu ya mwene. Pantu wali kwa tama ka. Kari ya kari kukudio kwa pidibuka. Ushita uishi wa ini mfumu. Kabili nukusa kwa kwa yesu kwa kusa mkufu ila na ino. So hili inginge misepele watemu kwa kumfumu. Shimuwe nshita tulombe fintu. If shiringi lile. Turefu wakulomba li nituwa kumbwa. Mulu mwa mnobe. Atindefu haya ulio mwa umu. <laughs> Lesa tete atupele wa temu kwa kumfumu. Pantu lesa alefu wa kule tobu temwe. No ubu busisho paka chipalifwe. Mutu mkisho wako wa yesu wa lipuka chipalifwe. Lekia nye na tuwa ilo kutupala. Amen. Amen. Ya in every village, there are also adults who should speak. Mumu nzuri wonse, kulibakulu bakulu nkalamba, za menezifu ni kazi kambeko. So if which choir has not sung here? Yeah, if the Soweto choir will, will sing. Make no plans without the Lord. Will come and save. I think, uh, amongst those who are at the altar here, I'm sure he's the one is the oldest around us. So he can also. My dear brothers, my dear sisters in the Lord. My dear youths. 
It is a blessing that we have heeded the call of our Heavenly Father. When a message went round that the Apostle was going to conduct the first youth service in 2023 in Soweto for us who are in Zone 1. Zone 1. That too was a call by the Lord. Because we would have chosen not to heed it by going to other places. And lately, there's a place where the young ones, most of them, frequent. Where they go to play the betting games. And even in the morning when we were going to church, we found one of these places full of young people. And when I asked myself, do we still have our members who probably come to these places as early as this? Probably yes. So that they can bet, win a bit of some money and justify what they are doing. But if I'm going to get a, a bit of some money this morning, then I'll take an offering in the house of the Lord. Beloved brothers and sisters, let us always heed the voice of God. Because he does not shout at us. In most cases, his voice comes in a whisper. That is why probably Samuel was not able to recognize his voice. Because of the perception that he had of God. If, if God is that big, as manifested in his creation. The many things that he does. Definitely if he's going to speak to me. It will be in that very big voice. There will be some tremor lightning, thunder, because God is speaking. But it's very rare that his voice is in such kind of things. And that is why today, he's using a very small voice in, in our dear apostle. He is calling us what is our response to the call that has been given to us. Beloved in the Lord, last Sunday we heard the Lord calling, come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Beloved in the Lord, I know you grow at a difficult time when there are so many voices calling all over. You open your television set. There is a voice there that is calling. Come here. The Lord is here. The Lord will do this for you. Beloved brothers and sisters, and some of our young ones heed such voices. And they get lost in the world because of listening to such voices. Let us remain in the house of the Lord because that is where Samuel was. I was imagining when the apostle was speaking to us if Samuel had moved out of the house of God, was he surely going to hear the voice of God? Was he going to be able to consult early the priest of what he needed to do beloved in the Lord he wasn't going to hear the word of God so if we leave the house of God we will not be able to hear the voice of God so let us remain in the house of God where we have our teachers where we have our parents who are growing us up 
Amen. In the likeness of Jesus Christ. Amen. And so, beloved in the Lord, dear brothers, dear sisters, hearing the voice of God in every situation that you find yourself in, ask about the voice of God and he will tell you what to do. Make no plans without the Lord. The Lord will not close the door without opening another one for you. Those who are in disappointments because your loved one has disappointed you, you thought you were going to make a very nice family together. But you have been disappointed. Listen to his voice. Yes, that door has closed it. It is for a purpose. Why that door has been closed. So what should you be praying for? Don't you go for prayer and fasting so that the Lord can open that door which he has closed. Me, I will go nowhere until you open this door. Like the, one of the priests has said here. Me, I will marry nobody else apart from that brother. But he's married. That is staying and crying at a closed door. That door has been closed. For a purpose. It is not your door. That man was not meant for you. That woman was not meant for you. Sometimes you even try to go and consult the other things so that you can open the door. Beloved in the Lord, that door has been closed. You go into a building and you find they have written this door permanently closed. They will also say, please use the next door, room 301. But you are saying, no, me, I just want part 300. Beloved in the Lord, now, what you should do if you cannot see where this door 301 is, ask someone, please, where is the door 301? So pray, God open my eyes that I see the door that you have opened for me. I see the woman or the man you have given for me. Wanga, wanga, where is he or she? Wanga, wanga, kote alipati. Not kupempe rakuti wa sister chite bafe, zinde ni kwatiliwe. What kind of prayer that? So, I think, let us conclude our sermon by singing, of course, the choir will sing the hymn to end our, our, our sermon. I think it's better to end it at that.
Beloved in the Lord, brothers and sisters. The Lord, having called us and having spoken to us what he intends us to do. Ambuye, pambuyo poti tana, ni chancha mina imbekeza kuti chite. Therefore, we want to take an introspection. So, pano tifuna ife tizi chechete. Emoai hakening properly to the call of the Lord. Kodi ine ni chita buino kuita na kuambuye. How do I want this year to haken to the call of the Lord? Kodi nifuna chaka chino chitike mota ni kuita ni wakuambuye. What is it that is making me not to hear the call of God. To hear his voice. I want this year my ears to be attentive to the voice of God. That can only be done when we leave everything and come closer to God. And pay attention to his call. And that is repentance. So, I would like all of us to think deeply in our hearts. That we can have a quiet moment when we can reflect within. Sometimes, you know, yesterday I was listening to some brothers. In fact, at the feeding station, I was putting in some gas. So the two brothers were talking. Dangerous prayer. <laughs> so you see, I was interested. So pano Dangerous play, prayer again. How is dangerous prayer, guys? Pempelo, yangozi, niotani. Anyway, I don't want to go into the details of what they said about the dangerous prayer. But maybe some of you have also prayed dangerous prayers. We need to repent, beloved. So I will ask all of us to be upstanding and observe a moment of silence reflecting within ourselves in case we also made a dangerous prayer. Where we went on a prayer on the fasting for brother and so and so to die so that he can have his wife. That's a dangerous prayer. It's not acceptable before God. And so we have to repent. So please, maybe we be upstanding and observe a moment of silence. And reflect within. And the moment of silence begins now. Thank you. I now, the congregation may sit down and we sing with the solo the hymn of repentance. So Panum Pingo Zankala Timbe Lujoli Ulimozi Nimbo Yolapa. I surrender all. 
Nipereka zonse. I'm sure in the moment of silence we've had, we have surrendered everything to the Lord. Nikulupia muntau ya kachete chete tankala na yota pereka zonse kwa mbuye. Shout ever be I and I now ask all of you to stand so that we can join together in the prayer taught to us by the Lord. All together we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts. 
and do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever. Amen. I proclaim unto you the glad tidings. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, your sins are forgiven. The peace of the risen one abide with you. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father, God Almighty, how shall we thank you enough for your words which you have given to us. For the manner and way that you have taught us this afternoon. Help us, Father, to humble ourselves. Like Samuel humbled himself. That he was able to hear your word. And when he was in doubt, he was able to ask the mentor early. Help us also as the young people that many times we don't understand well your words. Your message. Please give us the humility to ask so that we can follow you. We are also thankful that our sins could be forgiven. We want to start afresh, Father, in this new year as the young people. That we may be able to walk circumspectively on the narrow way. We have the desire to partake of the body and blood of thy son. Please, Father, sanctify us. That we may worthily partake of this sacrament and that we may draw out of this sacrament the nature of our Lord and Savior Jesus granting us beyond the measure we petition with our words we humbly ask in Jesus Amen, Amen. Amen. before we celebrate Holy Communion serving ministers may have to wash their hands and therefore as this is being done the orchestra will play the journey is long
we shall now proceed to celebrate Holy Communion. The Lord's table is prepared. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I consecrate bread and wine for Holy Communion and lay there upon the ones brought eternally valid sacrifice of Jesus Christ. For the Lord took bread and wine gave thanks and said this is my body which is broken for you this is my blood of the new covenant given for many for the remission of sin eat and drink do this in remembrance of it. as often as you eat this bread and drink this wine you proclaim the lost death till he comes amen Amen. One among us is good. Beloved in the Lord, brothers and sisters, time also has come when we are expected to celebrate Holy Communion to those that are prepared. And in celebration of Holy Communion, we shall sing the following hymns. Fountain of Purity in Chewa. Kasupe Oyela Muchichewa. 
if we have not finished, we shall also sing Nabu Pwa Kububi Wandi. The Lord now invites you for Holy Communion. Ambuye akumemezani kumgonelo oyela.
Soweto, Oimba Soweto, Youth in Christ, Asopano Mwa Christo, Come for the feast, young people's choir. Melani Kupando, Oimba, Achinyamata. Kanyama Shitayalu Seafka Shemo Sahao Kola
Yeah, beloved in the Lord, dear brothers, dear sisters. I'm waiting for you, are still making noise. There are some youths who have heard the voice of God, the call of God. Don't make plans without the Lord. And so they looked and they heard the voice and they saw. And so they are ready for engagement. So please, the two couples can come in front here. Not Bavili, there are two, two couples. Au. Bavili, Bavili, Bavili. Yeah, before me here are two couples. Paso golo pai ne apa pari vari vaviri vaviri. We have Raymond Kandiata and Charich Koko. Tirina Raymond Kandiata na Chikoko. Charich. Charich. Then we have Godwin Siriro. Tirina e Godwin Siriro apa. And Martha Omba. Na Martha Omba. And so, my dear friends, you know where I come from where I'm going to send. That's the same. Hide only as much as people have not seen you. Bisama peka po antu sana kuone. But when people have seen you, bantu wakakuona. It pays nothing to hide. Ah, kubisa masiri pira kari kons. It will be like an ostrich hiding the head, but the whole body is being seen. Chirimonga ostrich abisama mutu koma chitu pitons e chioneke. And so you have decided that hiding in 2023 is not your portion. Imwe mwa gamula. Kubisa mabisa ma 2023 I simbali yangu You want to do the right thing Mufuno chita zintuzo yenera And the right thing is to come before the Lord Zintuzo yenera nukwela paso golo pambuye And tell the Lord Your intention Ndikuza mulungu maringarilo anu That brings joy to the parents Izo zile tachi mwemwe kumakoro Both the spiritual parents and the physical parents Makolo akutopindi akumuzimu of late we hear that people are married only when they tell you ni kwa tivasira. That's what you do. Ah, that's not what you want. Kumbuyo kuzambe na chabe kuti bantu wana kwa tana pambuyo pachi kwa tikusira. But you have said you cannot do that first. We have to go before the Lord. Inu mwane na stinga chite izo tufu ni kuhenda pasokolo pambuyo. Because only the Lord who can bless us. Ni ambuye chabe anga tidarise. And so the Lord will grant you a blessing. Ambuye aza kupasani mudarise. But you must just understand Koma mfunika kumvesesa. The member saying, which says, Mula nkulidwe wachive embo wamene une na kuti. Inkome kerote chupo yo. Kukome kela, sichi kwa ati. Ay. You are not sounding a bell here at here mkache, no. Ah, stinalize mulangu wapakuti kuche. But, 
Koma. You have just brought up your intention. Mwa onesa chabe maringariro ani. That you think well for the earth. Kuti muga nzira na buino kwa wina ndi mzachi. God blesses you, you want to start a life together. Ngatambia kudarisani mfuno yamba umoyo wanu pamozi. Therefore everything has got rules and regression to follow. Ziri zonse, ziri ndima la mulo osatira. As those that are entering into engagement. Inu, amene mulo wa kukobe kila. You now have no time to be together. Muzanka na nanta wia mbili sopano mkala pamozi. As you move around, there's nobody who's going to point fingers at you. Pamene mwe enda enda, kulipa mina za kusontani vikumo. Because people only point when you are in the darkness, then they will point at you. Bantu wa kusontani chabe ngati mlimu mudima. But now they cannot point anything because you have come out in the open. Apa kulipa za kusontani kaili muangkala po yela. You have left the darkness. Mwa choka kumudima. You have come in the open. Mwa buela po yela. In the light. Po unika. Therefore, don't go back the darkness again. But remain in the light. Do the things which are above board. You can go and visit the other side's parents and so on and so on and so forth and people will be happy with you. And do that which is accepted. And know each other even more. As you plan for your wedding. Then the Lord will lay his hand of blessing upon everything. So I want to wish you well in the decision that you have taken. The first step that you have taken. Remember you are entering into this engagement freely without any cohesion. Muganzire mwaloba mkukobe kera na umu kopanda kukaka miziwa. Mwazisa nkira. There were a number of brothers who were I knew. But their manifestos were not good enough. <laughs> but the manifestos from these you accepted. Because you think that there's a future between the two of you and between the two of you. And same with you, there were a lot of Young ladies, we heard here that there are more ladies who want to get married than men. So they were looking at you. Well, now your eyes are closed. You are no, no longer to see, see too much. Uh -uh. Look only on that which you have chosen. Nainu abale manso anu anari kuyanga na so pano apavarika yanga na nchape ya pemwa sanka. And concentrate on making your relationship work. Muikire nzelu kutu gwenzi wanu semenze buinu. And the Lord will grant your blessing. Please, those who have remained there, don't wish bad luck to them so that you can take over. No. But wish them well. And so I will now ask you a question. So, if the congregation please will stand. Brother the names again? Yeah, dear friends, Raymond and Charity. Raymond and Charity. And Godwin and Martha. Godwin and Marita. Is it your sincere desire? Kodi nitilakola kochanu chakuya. And do you promise? Kodi mulonjeza. That you will be true and faithful to each other. Kodi muzankala achonadi okulupe kwa kwa wina ndi mzache. And keep your engagement promise as it should. And if that is your desire, you may confirm that with your audible yes. Yes. And so, let us pray. So, God, our Heavenly Father, the giver of all good and perfect gifts, you have heard the yes from these, the young people, 
Please, Father, add your yes to their yes. And strengthen them during their time of engagement. Lead them to the goal on the day of their marriage. Sanctify me now as your servant that as I lay my hands on them that I may bestow upon them the engagement blessing that will help them in their times of need. And when they call upon your name please Father hear them and help them. We ask it all in Jesus. Amen. Amen. So have you got a ring or something? You have a ring? Okay, please try to close it too far. Okay, okay, just see there. So please start here. Where's your ring? Now you can look at each other so it tells you. Put Papa manje muyanga nani. Now you can remove it. And put that away. You don't need it here. And where do you want to, to put it? Why do you want to be seeing it? Where? Just drop it here. Just drop it there. Okay, so I'll also do my part up to somewhere. Now you can put it where the position want to be seeing it always. We okay. It looks beautiful. Eh? Is it? Ah, good. So, move a bit, a bit there. Just like this. You have? Ah, okay. Oh, good. Yeah, where do I want to be seeing it? Where? Okay, just drop it here. Leave it there, leave it, just leave it there. Okay, we try to see how to bring it up to there. Now you can put it where you want to be seeing it all the time. Looks beautiful. You, lo you love it? Now, my friends, so, I have also participated in the putting of that ring. So, if you want to change your mind, bring it where I told you to, to leave it. And then you look for me, find me, to come and remove. Maybe it's even better to call also the congregation to come and be witnesses of you removing the, the rings. Deal? Isn't it a better deal, isn't it? Ah, now hold each other's right hand. Oh, sorry. Where's the... Ah, okay. Okay. So, let us pray. In the name of God, the Muzi. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Receive now your blessing on your engagement. May God, your Heavenly Father, who has made it possible for you to see each other and fall in love, guide you and protect you from the darts of the prince of darkness. May he help you to walk on this journey without fear. May Jesus, your Savior, who shed his blood on Calvary for you, help you to walk on this journey in purity and faithfulness during your engagement. May the Holy Spirit, the teacher, teach you all things and help you to walk perfectly and circumspectively on this narrow way towards your wedding.
and help you to make your future plans together. Receive now the blessing of God. The blessing of your apostle. The blessing of the congregation. And the blessing of your parents. May the blessing of God rest upon you. And the peace of the risen one be with you. Amen. Amen. And so, congratulations. When do we expect the bells? Ah, in October. Ah, good. Congratulations. 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 When are the bells? 19 March. <coughs> okay. Good. Thank you. Okay, please, you can help them carry and help them as they go forward. That is the goodness of doing things correctly. Before we close the service, we are going to change your mind at night. Okay, I see none. So, shall we close ourselves with a prayer? Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, God Almighty, we want to thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done for us this afternoon. Thank you for the word encouragement and uplifting to our soul. Thank you for the wise counsel that you have given to us this afternoon. Afternoon. Help us, loving Father, to put this word not only to hear it but to practice it. That our way of life shall be in accordance with the gospel of thy son Jesus. That those who look at us may be able to say, Here are the children of God. Like Samuel who was obedient to you Help us also Father to be obedient to you Look kindly upon your children, the youths. They are going through difficult times. Many Heavenly Father are looking for jobs. Some have been promised. Others have searched for interviews. Others are waiting to be called for interviews. Please, Father, help them. Those who are waiting and looking for marriages. Some have found them, but they are not too sure. Others have been disappointed a lot of times, and they no longer want to look into the direction of marriage. Please, Father, help them. Because this is an institution that you created yourself. Help them, Father, to find. They are right, their right partners. There are those, Father, who suffer many, many other things. Some of them, Father, their businesses are not doing well. Help them, loving Father. In all these things, let them put you first. And help them accordingly. Accept now the offerings of thy children. May it ascend as good fragrances to the throne of glory. And bless them in return. 
Remember the sick, the suffering, the widows, the orphans. All those who have got a worry and a concern here and there. Those who carry heavy burdens. Those who carry crosses. Please, Father, help them all. Dismiss us now, Father, with your message. We pray also for the government and the leadership of our nation. Give them the, the wisdom and the knowledge to lead your people well. Grant us, O Father, beyond the measure of petition with our words. Hear us, O Lord. We humbly ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much. And now we sing the closing hymn together. Glory, praise, and honor. Yeah, I had to welcome all of you who have come this afternoon to Zone 1 New Service. Especially those who have come as our guests. Some of them you have not told us. But at least there is one that we have been told. Uh, Keno Peter Mchaya. Keno Peter Mchaya. You may stand, please. We greet you. You are hearty welcome. Let this not be the first and last, but continue coming and we shall rejoice together with you. Siani, ich sankare cho yam bandima peto kovam pitirize ti darisue pamozi. Mavalandila. Thank you very much for hearty welcome. And so, I don't want to waste too much of your time. But let me just say something. Because mostly it's our youths who are being misled to go outside. A lot of things have been said about from the time that the chief apostle made the announcement. A lot of lies have been said. But the truth is this. 
Chona hati ni hichi In the church Zambia Malawi Zimbabwe Mukachi isi Zambia Malawi ndi Zimbabwe No women will be ordained Kulipe mukazi azazo zewa And that is a fact Icho ndie chona hati And there is no homosexuality that has been agreed upon in homosexuality kulibe kukwatia na kwa mwamuna mwamuna ndi mkazi mkazi kwa vomekezewa as you have seen here i think there were two brothers and two sisters here konga maone lapa kunari abale aviri ndi alongu aviri maybe i didn't see properly kapena sinaone buini that there were two sisters and two who wanted to get married here no but you say brother and a sister brother and a sister Kuti kunari alongo babiri bafuno kuatirana. Kwa manaona, mbale ndi mulongo, mbale ndi mulongo. So let no one mislead you in that direction. Homosexuality is a sin. Kusankale mtu aza kunamani mungira iyo. Kukwata na mamuna na mamuna mkazi na mkazi ni chimo. Sodoma ni gomora wanapia. Kusodomo na gomora wanapia. And I want to assure you that your church is still intact the same way that it was. The same church you knew is the same church that is here today and the same church tomorrow. No change. Nifuno kusi mikizani kuti kachi siwanu sana sinte, kachi siwanu wamene munayamba, wamene munaziva, ndi aliko lelo, ndi azankara komaba. As we said in the beginning, Munga tane na kuchiyami. This is your father's house. Ini nyumba ya tate wangu. Rejoice and be happy. In it is your church. Kondwe lani, sangala lani, ni kachi siwanu. At no time will it be a personal church. Kulibe ntau ya meneza kankala kachi sikamuntu. This is a church of Christ. Aka ni kachi si wa Christu. And it will remain as such. Kazanka lilabe telo. Now there were some of our brothers and sisters who were here and they have left. Aliko abarendi alongo atwe na tinali nao anaenda. Because they yielded to the lies. Chifu kwa anamvese la kuboza. So what is our relationship with them? Manje ubenzi watu nao ni otani. The answer is simple. Yanko ni apa fupi. What is our relationship with the other churches? Ubenzi watu. Na makachi siena, ni uti. We don't hate them. Stiba zonda. But they are not our members. Koma, sima member la batu. If they die, kwa mene vayenda uko? Ngati kwa mene vayenda baka. Do we bury wa SDA here? No. Do we bury those wa watchtower when they die, we bury them here? No. So even wa mene avo, kwa mene vayenda, kwa mene uko? Sima mene? Sikuti wazisa nkila. Yeah, wazisa nkila. So we have nothing to do with them. They have nothing to do with whatever is new apostolic. Walibe zo chita na kari konse, kari kakachisu watu. Either our buildings or anything. Zimango zatu, chiri chose. If they want to claim anything, that is criminal trespass. Criminal trespass. Ngati bafuna kupita, bakuti... Ni mulandu wa kabunyama. But we don't want to follow them or to insult them. No. Stephen na tiba konge kapena kubatu kwa na ai. They should just go peacefully. Baende chape mamtende. Because what do they have which we will follow them for? Nizi tibali nazo za meti zaba konkela Valibe machechi Valibe mabenchi Valibe holiko minyoni Valibe zinyimbo Zinyimbo zonze wako opera kwa ise So tiba konkele chani Nothing But Koma If they decide to come back Baka gamula kubelela What do we do? Teach Kamotani We shall welcome them back, isn't it? Yes But there is a given period which has been given Period of grace Koma kuli ntau ya pasi wa ntau ya chisomu After that period Pambuyo pantau iyo We shall remove them from our registers Chizaba chosa ma registers 
they are completely not our members ndiye kuti basiriratu kunkala ma member labatu so if they come back after that time bakabelela pambuyo po bachosa ma register adoption tibapeleka kulandiriwa bakabelela after that time what shall we do Because they are guests now, ka? Nivalendo apo. We don't know them. Stiba ziba. Nivalendo. So they will be what? Adopt. In the classes for 90 days. Wazange na mapunzilo, masiku 90. So my sisters, muzikonze kere kubela kupunzi sa wa adoption, wameni babuelela. Those who were ministers before, Regardless of whichever ministry they were holding, they are brothers. When you meet them, they are what? Call them Mr. Johnny or Mr. Whatever. They are brothers. Because they cannot no longer be called by their ministries because banasia udindo wao kuti kuno banaenda empty there i hope that they can can so i'm sure there are no questions everything is okay i want to enjoy the singing already the singing has been very good so we can listen to some more. How joyful shall it be, Soweto? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.
God Shh. God the all powerful Kanyama Please can we minimize the noise so that we can listen Tichepeseko chongo kuti timvesereko nyimbo
uh, Kola, a might fortress.
All right, thank you, and thank you, and thank you very much. Zikomu, zikomu, zikomu akuya. Nkani za soshua unga siechechi. So please, can now, shh. The last hymn here is for the whole choir. The Lord God reigneth. Himbo ya mapeto ni onse o imba ambuye mulungu alamulila. Vaye! Vaye!